everyone, it's Gail here with a little craft with me. I'm going to work on my digital ephemera from the, from the journal that I'm working on right now and do a little embossing. And this is a nap, so thought I would see if you'd want to craft with me. So I want to say hi and hugs to Jenny, Anita, Shirley, and Robin. And thank you so much for watching and for your kind comments and just for being such sweet people in general. So I am going to work with this. It's a Sizzix Texture Boutique. It's just, a, it's a little tiny embosser and it's just super easy and you don't have to get out your big old, um, your big old die cut machine in order to do it so it's just got these it's got these little plates and so um i've got a tag here and so i am going to just line that up i've got a couple of tim holtz um embossing folders that i have never used so but we're going to remedy that right now i'm just trying to line that up so it's right on the edge Okay, let's see. Let's see what happens. And um, I brought over some red paper too because not only do I have the journal that I'm working on, but I also have my um, December daily coming up. So I'd like to have some stuff for that too. So I thought I would see how that how that does. Oh, that's cute. That's cute. I hope you can see it. It's just little Christmas words, and then I think I could put a little lace at the bottom. So that's fun. These red and green things that I have here are um, Rit dyed. My friend Catherine Rit dyed them. And so super fun. This is an envelope, and this is a different folder that just has the month of December on it. So let's see how that does. See how easy that is? It's just super quick to just run it through this. And um, so I love it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's, that's cute. With the December and then I'll do something over here. Okay, so I think I'm going to try two pieces of cardstock in here, and these ones I'm going to use in my December daily is, is my thought. Well, maybe one in this journal, one in December daily. We'll see. Oh, get in there. Might be kind of fun to emboss a coffee dyed um, tag or something and do a little decoupage of a napkin over it. Well, that's cute. I just I just need to go over them with something to bring out more of the um, pattern. I was thinking these might come in handy and if not I'll have them for for other Christmas things this is sort of weird because it's kind of at an angle and so I'm trying to make them straight and they don't want to go straight because it's at an angle so I hope everybody had a great Thanksgiving yesterday we had a nice day we we went um out and walked around the lake. I can't remember if I told you yesterday when I did my videos. I think I did my video before we went for the walk, but it was so fun because we saw a little wildlife that we hadn't seen before out there. Um, we saw three swans. My husband said he thought they were trumpeter swans. I have no idea. I don't know. I don't know birds very well, but anyway, three swans and they were gorgeous. Oh my gosh. They were just so graceful, just cutting through the water. They were just beautiful. There was a guy out there that was, um, 
taking pictures of them. And um, they swam right up to the shore, right up to him practically. So that was really cool. Um, so we saw them and then I have never seen a mallard duck out there. And we saw a mallard duck, that was fun. We also saw, um, we also saw the, the little ducks that live out there all the time um, are, I don't know what kind they are. Maybe some, of, maybe one of you knows, but um, they are a really dark gray on their body, a black head that seriously looks like black velvet. And then they have white beaks. So they're dark gray, black head, white beak. They are stunning creatures. Jeez, they're pretty. So um, that was really fun. So we saw saw those two. So it was it was a good day out at the lake. It really was. Okay, so what do I have left? I have some green tags. Maybe we'll just do these green tags. Um If I send them that way, that might be kind of cute. We'll try that. Um, yeah, so it was it was fun to see to see those, and there was a lot. There were quite a, well, not a ton of people walking out there, but quite a few. And we saw some friends that have been friends for years and years and years. Um, I actually went to school with them and then my kids went to school with their kids and you know so I've known them forever so we saw them out there walking that was fun and um, anyway came home and you, you know my husband does all the cooking so he was busy doing his cooking and um, and so I watched we watched together a little bit of football and then the football game was over and I was like, huh, I wonder what's on. And so I looked at the guide and I found the Wizard of Oz was on. It was so fun. So yeah, the original Wizard of Oz, there we go. We're all done with that, um, was on. And so I watched that and you know, it doesn't matter how many times I watch it. I still cry at the end. <laughs> It just is. It's just what happens. Okay, got that out of the way. Alrighty. Well, now we're all embossed, which is happy. So let's let's do some of this ephemera. I kind of was excited to play with it. It was one of those things I dreamt about last night. You know, that happens to me. Okay, so. We've got all sorts of stuff, envelopes and all sorts of things. We've got these cute little, these cute little things. We've got spools, we've got tags, banners and stuff. Yeah, it's just, it's just fun. So, um, maybe, the other thing is on this project, I am going to use Ooh La La Crafts because um, it's going to be the design team kind of for both. So I was thinking about maybe a little lace. I just want to do a little layering on these things. And I love this. It's kind of a coffee colored. It's just fun. Um, I'm just going to start, <laughs> I'm just going to go, let's, let's just see where we get to on this stuff. Get that right down the middle and I've got kind of enough for, enough for both. Let's see what kind of fun fabrics we have. I've got one catching my eye, which is that one. How about this one? Yeah, that's good for this one. Oops. 
I had somebody ask me, why do you always tear instead of cutting? And it's because I like the fringy edges. That's the only reason. I just like it to look tattered. Um, I'm going to do this right in half. Should probably get some cheesecloth out, shouldn't I? Can't I can't manage without the coffee dyed cheesecloth. All right. So super nice out today. Um, we went to Walmart this morning just for groceries and wasn't too crazy. Black Friday and all, but it wasn't too crazy. I don't don't love it though <laughs> to go on on Black Friday. Maybe I'll kind of go this way with that. Okay, and then I'm thinking about I also have this yarn. I was thinking about putting down, but hmm, not loving that either. Maybe. Maybe a little piece of the... This is the coffee dyed seam binding that Ooh La La Crafts puts her little fun things together on. And um, I have red red thread in my sewing machine and um, I think see, I can just zip this really quick I'm not going to bother to move over my sewing machine I'm not sure with my new angle how you will be able to see anyway so I gotta situate my chair a little bit better It only takes a second anyway. So okay. Like that. I think what I'm gonna do. Goodness, I'm out of my fabric tack practically. Um I did the cover. Let me show ya. I did the cover. Um, we made this together yesterday. And then I did the cover and decoupaged on a cardinal napkin. And then I had this awesome green um, Christmas music. And so, and then put it on a little grungy thing here. So that was fun. But I used up all my fabric tack. Maybe I'm going to have to get out that new art glitter glue that I got. Maybe we'll do that and see what that's like. Because I probably would be fighting with this, although it's coming out pretty good. Okay, let me grab out that art glue. And I want to grab some other fabrics too. Um, have all this awesome coffee dyed fabric from Carolyn and Candy. Uh, let's see. Okay, so what did I do with that glue? Okay. Okay, so this is the stuff. The art glitter. Permanent, water-based, non-toxic, all that sort of stuff. And they also sold little pins and a little fine-tipped top to go on it. So hmm. I 
don't know. We'll discover it together. Okay, so it's white, dries clear, it says. Okay, I've had a lot of people say um, that they love this stuff. Okay. It says, pull off spout cover, do not cut, firmly screw on metal tip, use stainless steel pin, sewing pin will rust, soak tip in boiling water if clogged, and blow out twice before reattaching. Hmm. So... See if I understand this. <laughs> well, isn't this the cutest little jar you ever saw? So, okay. So you put this on. I guess. Like that, I guess. <laughs> you can now tell me if I did this wrong. And then I think you poke this down. Oh, I bent it. That didn't work. I was assuming, since it said not to cut it, that you poke the pin in it, but maybe not. Okay. Well, maybe another time for this instead of right now. Oh, I think I got it. Maybe. Yes, I got it, I think. Yep. Okay. Okay. I got some extra pins too, so that's good if that one's okay. So we'll try that on the next next time we need glue. Hmm. Okay, well that was interesting. All right, so so fun. I love that. Okay, but I also want to um tie something around this. And I should ink it because that's just what we do. Having a little hard time getting started this morning with this. Lots of journaling space on these little mason jars. And so starting with this video, I'll put um, Artie Mazes link and also voila crafts down below so that if you're interested you can run on over there thinking I kind of want to put lines on that once again I have no um no timer so I'm not going to know when it's an hour or whatever. So we'll just, <laughs> we'll just keep going for a while and see what we do. Okay. I'm going to use my archival ink here in whatever it is. It is se sepia. That's right. Sepia. Oh, cute. Okay. That's fun. So put those up because we might need those again. Okay. I would like, this is my scary bag of all sorts of things, but I think I'd like a little twine. 
closing that. So goodness, it's all sort of wrapped up upon itself. Okay. over to the side so we don't cover up the bird yeah so anyway I watched Wizard of Oz it just never gets old for me um, and loved it the um, it's funny now that I'm grown up the things that I notice in it though <laughs> Like, I think some of the munchkins were kids, and the monkeys have a mask on, which I did not, I just thought they were real. I actually had a time where I thought I saw one on my way home from school. I, I don't know. I must have been, maybe I was thinking about the Wizard of Oz or something. I don't know, but it scared me. So there's that little one. That's really cute. I was saying I might like to put a little stamp right there. I think I will. And let's see. I'm gonna get out my favorite all-time stamp and put that on there. Let's see, black ink. Yep, that finishes that off nicely. Well, one piece done. We're probably, what, a half hour into the video or something and we have one piece done, but that's okay. Alrighty then, let's see what else to do. You know, what I was thinking, I was thinking about on this little guy making a booklet out of it. So that's what we might do. Um, do I have, nope, I don't have my cutter over here. I'm working on kind of on the side and I'm not doing videos of it because they're presents for my granddaughters, but I'm working on, um, working on journals. Um, and so I kind of have stuff all over the place um, and those are for Christmas so I'll probably film them and then just not upload the video until after Christmas till they have them or something but okay we could actually put lines on this too couldn't we why not? Oh my goodness, my heater's on and it's warm in here. Holy buckets. My room is so closed in that when the heat comes on, it's just like, oh, right here. <laughs> and it's just, it's just warm. It's just warm kind of dress for the outside and then the heat comes on in my room and I'm like, whoo, warm, warm, warm. Okay, that's cute. I do like putting lines on them, that is fun. So let's, let's grab, I brought over a piece of, a piece of this hoping oh yeah we can go that way can't we we actually go down a bit okay 
me just grab my cutter. You know all that space that I saved with not having the tripod? Now I have a big bag of Christmas stuff there, and so I'm still, I'm still jumping, a po jumping something to get back to my desk. It's like, oh my goodness. Be something we can do with this too. Stick that in my I have another piece here. So I think we'll go ahead and make this several pages. this way just a bit. Like so. All right. And then um, I want to round the corner. So I'll get my corner rounder. So we did an experiment yesterday for Thanksgiving. Um, I've been doing a gluten-free diet and um, so we made our stuffing with gluten-free bread and it was so good. It was actually better than my normal stuffing I felt like. So that was a good discovery. Okay, so that's cute. And we'll just put that inside of here. It's going to be too long. No, it's good. I just have to round these corners as well, which I think I'll do with my scissors so I can just do them all at once. That do it. That did it. Okay, and then we'll have this cute little booklet, and I will just um, do a straight stitch right down the middle here. I don't need to do that right now, but I think I would like to do a little stamping on it. Goodness sakes, my little my little hairs that are bangs or, you know, I mean, they go down to my chin, but I have some that will, um, break off and they are like right up my nose, itch my nose like nobody's business, drives me nuts. <laughs> so let's see. Yeah, maybe just those two. And, um, yeah, so anyway, that's what I was doing. I was itching my nose. <laughs> oh. This little stamp says, always leave a little room in your holidays for miracles. That was a Hobby Lobby find last year when they had their... Um, I don't know what they were. Clearance sale. Anyway, I got it for $1.75. Oh, that's super cute. I love that. Okay. Let's see. 
Okay, and so then I think on the... Maybe on this page, I was looking for one that's not super coffee stained because this is a fairly subtle stamp, but I love this Santa stamp. And I got it on the clearance at Hobby Lobby's too. I've told you this before, but I read somewhere where if you leave your stamp on your paper, for at least five seconds that gives the paper time to absorb the ink so try and do that okay that came out so so it's okay it's like Santa's little face I didn't get a real good right there but that's okay not a big deal he just looks like he's sort of floating in okay so then I'm going to put that in there. Okay, so I'll set that by my sewing machine and we will sew that later. I'm trying to think if there's something I want to do on the outside of it. I don't know that there is because I'd cover everything up. Unless maybe I just want to tie it, tie it with a little ribbon or something. Goodness, you guys, my stomach's growling. It must be getting time for lunch. Gosh, I would have to use quite a bit of this to do that. So I don't know that I want to do that. Let's see. What else I might have? is so gorgeous. Could I do something with it? Ooh, that looks pretty, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it does. Okay, I am going to sew this just because I don't want to put the lace on after I've sewn it. So, it'll only take me a quick second out of camera. And there we go. So I lied, I am going to sew it. <laughs> okay, so there we go, it's all sewn, and then look at that. That is pretty. Isn't it crazy how much that enhances the look of it? Oh my goodness. Gorgeous, gorgeous lace. So I haven't looked over um, at Christie's shop, Ooh La La Crafts, recently, but I showed all that she had sent me, and she didn't quite have the laces listed yet in her shop but she was going to okay i'm still going to use fabri tac for the lace um you guys that use art glitter glue tell me if it holds down fabric well um i really wanted it for that fine tip but let me know if it holds down fa uh, fabric lace or glues fabric to fabric or whatever I don't know I don't have the experience and then if anyone else is interested they can look in the comments and see oh my gosh okay totally in love with that look at that isn't that beautiful little seed beads on there okay that one's fun all right a couple pieces done. Um, what else? I 
There's these cute little tags. Look at this one with the cardinal. Maybe I'll grab my punch, punch the hole. And then, um, I had a leftover grungy fabric here that I'm thinking of playing with right here. On that tag, that would be fun. Um, yeah, so anyway, I don't remember what I was talking about. <laughs> I got all excited about that gorgeous lace. Oh man, that color goes great with this too. No idea where I'm going to put these things or anything, but... That is really cute right there though. And then do I have a bit of brighter fabric that I could put on there? That's actually kind of fun. If I just take a tiny bit of this. really kind of want that flower. So, this time I am going to cut just because I want to make sure I get that. So now I have these little pieces I can use on something. I kind of want something like super thin through that. That might be nice. Excuse me, that's so loud on my glass. Um, just kind of deciding if that's enough as it is or let's sew around this tiny piece. There goes my husband clump 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 up there. I don't know if you can hear it on the video or not, but this is such a tiny piece, you guys. looks kind of cute I think. Should we try this stuff? Try putting it on with this stuff and see what happens. Okay, got the pin out. Oh, here it comes. Okay. I apparently did get a... Oops. Yeah, I was afraid that was going to happen. Ah. I don't know, there's a learning curve with this, I feel like. So now it's not going in again. I don't know, you guys, I'm not loving this so far. Tell me in the comments what all I'm doing wrong, because 
there apparently something. There we go. It went down anyway. Okay. I don't know how you keep that tip on there better. All right. Well, we'll see how it how it holds this too. Okay, um, now what do I have to put, oh, I have a bunch of fabric and stuff in this little bag too. I'm going to use some of this stuff. It is so fun doing Christmas because it's like, you really can't, can't get too gaudy, can you? Like it's all just good. <laughs> yeah, this is just some from my stash, but this will be good. I think this will be cute. Sorry, I'm out of camera. I'm having trouble getting up to lay right. The little lumpy bumpies out of there. Okay. Well, that's kind of cute. That layering of the fabrics just gives it a little something extra. Yeah. Okay. What else do we have to play with here? You know what I was thinking I wanted to do? I'm going to grab some index cards. Now my friend Liz Smith just had an awesome video on using up bits and pieces and stuff on index cards and I really, I loved the idea. So I had, I have all these little book page things that were from when I did the Shabby Chic journals. And so I was thinking about maybe playing with a little bit of putting this is and that's on, I don't know. You know, just to, I don't know what I'm thinking, but um, she said she used up her little scraps and things on index cards. She just has a pile at her desk and every once in a while she just goes through and uses up her scraps, which I love that idea because, okay, now I'm back to the glue dilemma. Okay, that went well. It's getting the pin back in it that's my challenge. Okay, that went in. But I don't know if I need to put it on every time or what. You guys are gonna have to tell me what you know about this art glitter glue. Seems like good glue. I mean, it really grabs and everything. Okay, and then I have, I have this little piece of fabric. I know. I've got a little piece of fabric and I have these two little pieces of fabric. Maybe I'll put those on and then Maybe some lace or something. Yeah. 
Maybe I can just leave it like that for while I'm messing about with things. I don't know, a person could have a lot of fun with their scraps though and these index cards, I think. I think that was a, a genius idea by Liz. Let's see, so. What else do I have from Mm -hmm. Oh goodness, I just got more things in my Christmas stash than anybody ought to. Let's see. Got some lace from Happy Mail, too. I was thinking of maybe putting that little thing on there. I think I will. this way. Hope this is the back. It is nice having the fine tip point. I will say that. Oh, it's coming out of here. Ugh, that's not good. Okay, guys. I don't know about the glue guys I just don't know I think I'm going to call that good with the this glue because I'm just struggling with it too much ow and then I just bent my pin again yeah I don't I don't like this at all okay you guys Tell me what you know, because I'm not loving it so far. And I know a lot of you have said how much you love it. So just tell me. Tell me what it is that I need to be doing to love it. <laughs> there we go. But it just doesn't go down. If I feel like I'm poking a new hole in the plastic every time I put it in. Hmm. Okay, we're going back to Fabri-Tac. But I kind of like that. I think that's just kind of fun. It's a little fun card, right? Here, I'll hold it up to the camera so you can see it better. But yeah, that was Liz's idea to just take bits and pieces that you have laying on your table and just put them on an index card. I like that. That's really fun. Okay. What else to do what you want to do? Looking at the envelopes. This envelope is fairly plain. Let's maybe play with it a little bit and I mean it's got the background, the gorgeous background, but what if we Embellished it a little. It could be some fun. Get my fast grab glue out here too. I've got like 14 glues here going, but um, yeah, I'm I'm sad. I really wanted to love that glitter glue, but I don't know. Maybe it's just operator error here. I'm not liking it. You guys are always so helpful though. You'll, you'll tell me where I'm going wrong or what I need to 
what I need to do to make it work better. Okay. Well, this is super cute, and I think I'm going to want it to go probably in a belly band is my thought. So I think I just might want to just like embellish the side or something. Place to write on the back. So that's kind of awesome. Just I didn't coffee dye. Sometimes I coffee dye or print another um, pattern on the back, and I didn't do either. So I'm just gonna give that a little distress ink. Okay. So oh, what do we want to do to the side of that? I've got a little overhang I'm going to get rid of here. There we go. Probably did a little crooked or something. think about all this stuff I have over here for my um, December daily too that I could be using. How about some of that red? That is pretty. That would be that side. Okay. These are awesome. They're just sticky on the back, so it's it's pretty pretty fun. Okay, right. Ah, Didn't lost my spot. Didn't have my hand there. I love that because it also is blingy. So good, so good, so good. All right. in there, clip off the excess, what I'm thinking about is kind of fussy cutting that guy out. This would look like just loosely. And then I could um, use the distress ink on it.
That's kind of cute, isn't it? Let's um, distress it. And... All right, let's. I think I'm going to put that on there. Just for fun. I do have another bottle of Fabri-Tac, but I didn't want to open it if I was going to like the glitter glue. So, um, so that's why I haven't opened that yet, but Maybe I need to. Well, that's fun. Just added him on. Add some bling. I think I think that one is done. Is fun. Let's play with these a little bit. Trying to decide what we want to have go over the top of that. Could use Inca Gold. Let's, let's grab some and see what we think. I have a green and a red. I also have um, just gold. water and then I can reactivate them because I know they're kind of dead. Yeah, so I've got gold too. So let's try a little green with this guy. Just see how we like it. Oh, so dry. So dry. But get a little water on it and work it and see it'll come up. It's going to go super lightly. That's well, kind of fun though. Definitely makes it show up better. Okay, let's try, let's try some gold too. You know I'm being super quiet, but 
I was thinking, I guess, I don't know <laughs> what I was doing. I do like this little contrast too. This is pretty. Okay, let's go. Let's go around the edges with the gold. Ooh, I kind of like how grungy that turned out. Wipe off my hand a little bit. Look at it. Isn't that pretty? It's, I don't know if you can see how shiny it is. Hopefully. But I like how that turned out. You could write on the back. Hmm. Let's see, what do we have that we could put as a, as a little topper on that? Looking through my, my pretty things from Ooh La La. I like this because it's, um, it's shiny gold. Obviously going to be too thick. So, but we'll be able to get lots of little snippets out of this. So that's the other thing, you know, as you get things from Christy, you know, it doesn't really matter how thick they are. You can always tear them down to make it do what you want it to do too. I like that. That's just, it's subtle, it's kind of grungy, but it's got a little sparkle to it. I don't know if that camera will pick it up, but. Well, that's a fun little tag. That was fun. All right. Oh gosh, I wish I knew what time it was, you guys. I just cannot see it on my camera because there's a there's a black space over it. Um, I'm not really thinking I have any extreme ideas. I know that I wanted to use these. I want what I want to do is um, I think cut out or I mean sew sew around and have them be little pockets I think is what I want to do but I'll be sewing off camera anyway so, so I may just call this a day for this little craft with me oh I was going to show you guys though I found these I really wanted numbers for my December daily and I found I had a piece of scrapbook paper that had the numbers one through 25 on them. So now I have, I have numbers that I can use for my days for my December daily. So I'm excited about that. Found those yesterday. Um, yeah. So here's what we did. Got a little bit done. We got this cute booklet made. Got a little canning jar done. Got a little, some of our piece, extra pieces there, a little tag, an embossed tag, and this envelope. I like those. I'm excited. 
So off I go on to this journal, another adventure. So thanks everybody for watching. I am going to have to figure out something for time so that I know. I'm sorry if I've cut us short, but I'm sorry if I've gone too long too. <laughs> so thanks everybody for watching and we'll just see you next time. Bye-bye.